Hare Krishna. Those who don't respect themselves are most agitated when others don't respect them. We all face situations in life when we are disrespected. And some of us can react uh, to those situations gracefully, some suddenly, some violently. Why these different reactions? And some people, their reactions seem to be completely disproportionate. This often happens because these people are internally insecure. Those who don't respect themselves are often most agitated when others don't respect them. When we function in life, we all need a certain amount of self-respect or self-esteem. Not in the egoistic sense, but in the sense that our existence has value. Our, our endeavor has value. Our, whatever we are doing, it has some value. And some people are very insecure about this. And the more spiritual we are in our worldview, the more our sense of self-worth comes from within by understanding that we are divine and we are parts of the Supreme Divinity, Krishna. However, when we start thinking that we are parts, uh, that we are just particles of matter, bags of protoplasm, somehow come alive, then that itself creates a huge amount of insecurity. And thereafter, if we find that somebody is not respecting us, then it is not just that interaction which is painful for us, that negative interaction threatens our entire sense of self-worth. Because our sense of self-worth is coming from within. From our, it's not coming from within, it is coming from without, from that other person respecting us. Just as if somebody maybe pushed us a little bit, We'd feel annoyed. But if somebody was about to build a bomb, uh, blow off a bomb that was going to bring our whole house down, we would be far more wildly agitated. So similarly, for some people, disrespect is like just being shower, pushed a little bit. But for some people, disrespect feels like their whole house is coming down, their whole exist, the world is coming down. Naturally, they react excess, they react wildly. So this is why we need a spiritual world. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that those who have demoniac, those who have a materialistic worldview, they often degenerate towards a demoniac nature. And one of the characteristics of demoniac nature is that they are extremely harsh in their speech. So, arrogance, conceit, and harshness. All these are char characterized the demon those with the demoniac nature. They want the world to respect them and they don't at all. They can't tolerate if the world doesn't respect them. They become harsh towards those people. If we want to become more balanced in our lives, then we need to raise our consciousness from a material level to a spiritual level. And as we acquire a spiritual self, spiritual self-understanding, then the world's disrespecting us won't disturb us that much. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita how in 6 8, those who have realized their spirituality by going beyond the mind's duality, they stay equipoised in honor and dishonor. We can become equipoised in its honor and dishonor if we situate ourselves in spiritual self-understanding and realize our eternal, inalienable connection with the supreme spiritual reality who loves us so much and accepts us so much that is always there with us in our heart. Thank you. Hare Krishna.